if I grew up in America and I grew up in, let's say, um, uh, uh, Taiwan, because Taiwan's a great example because, you know, it's right there and you have China, Hong Kong, and there's a lot of difference between Hong Kong and mainland China, which people don't consider. Now, is everything that goes on in mainland China and Hong Kong, should it be equal? Well, no, because because Hong Kong has had a very, very different um, socialization and everything going on in Hong Kong than mainland China for about, you know, last hundreds of years. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So social justice flattened between mainland China and Hong Kong wouldn't be fair right. if it was equalized. Now, if you took the same things in mainland China, applied them to Hong Kong, tried to apply them here in America and the United States. Would it be all the same social justice if we could artificially change it? Because we say all social justice is equal across the entire world. Well, it's not. Because you have so many different factors and so many things. Yeah, It's the same thing sense. as term limits for America when we start trying to artificially force a congressional district to not have a certain congressperson because they've been in there for 30 or 40 years. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't like some of them. There's a congressperson that's been in there for like freaking 40 years. And I can't stand the guy because I think he forgot about his, di his district he's from. And then he goes on all those big, huge things and forgets about his district constantly. And I really think he should start looking at the district more because whatever wants to vote him in. But he's doing a lot of really great things at a national scale. But come on, dude. Clean up that river and take care of that and take care of people in your district. Now, do we need to force a term limit on that guy? No. It needs to bring attention to the fact that he's forgetting about the people in his district and maybe have them vote a little differently. But if he gets voted in again, then rock on, man. You got voted again. So you made it past that term limit called voting. Right. So there's a lot of things that you can think about in different ways. And when it comes to social justice, I think that social justice, making it equal across certain spectrums of society, certain spectrums of religion, certain spectrums of um, environmental conditions. You know, it's, it's different. It's different in New York City than it is where I live in upstate New York. I live like six hours from New York City in New York State. Now, if you get a DUI in New York City and they take away your driver's license for six months, they're like, yeah, whatever, big deal. They don't care because they have buses on every block. They have subways. Right. They have Ubers. They have a 1,000 Ubers at their freaking beck and call. Mm -hmm. But if you live where I do in a town of 200 and the closest, the closest Walmart is a 40-minute drive, the closest grocery store is like, well, we have one dollar store right there. And it's a good dollar store. Thanks a lot. But that's 20 minutes away. So if I have no driver's license. And if I drove and it took me 20 minutes to drive to the closest place for me to buy toilet paper, which is a big hype now in COVID. But if you drive 20 minutes to get a roll of toilet paper, if I have no license, how long does it take me to walk? And you took away my license for six months? It's so different between New York yeah. City that I have a thousand Uber drivers. I have taxis everywhere. I have subway and I have buses. I have transportation you know, I have a million ways to travel. But if I'm out here where I'm living, if I have no driver's license, I have to walk everywhere. Or I got to call up on my friends constantly. It's not fair. Yeah, it's definitely not a level playing field when it comes to the differences between and, the states we live in and different countries. And, you know, and what New, York State, New York State is the worst. Because New York City is this hub of metropolitan everything. But if you drive an hour out of New York City, you're you're in you're you're different, and mm -hmm. you're applying all the laws. Governor Cuomo applies all the laws that make great sense in New York City, but it totally like it hampers and it's punishing to everyone that lives an hour outside of New York City. It's a punishment. It's 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 like what's that cruel and unusual punishment for you to make me do? The New York City DUI laws when I'm here south of Buffalo and I'm five hours from six hours from New York City doesn't make sense. It's cruel and unusual punishment. Social justice. Somebody should be standing up for me. The yeah. ACLU, they're taking away my civil rights, my civil liberties because I can't drive. So I can't work. I can't even get a roll of toilet paper mm -hmm. without walking for four hours. It's a four hour walk to go get a toilet paper. Mm -hmm. 
That's cruel Jeez. and unusual punishment. And you're going to do those same laws? Why doesn't the ACLU pick up that case? You can't apply the urban laws for the DUI taking away my driver's license. And I know somebody who's had her driver's license taken away for two years. And it's hampered work. He's like failing and loses his house, loses everything because he can't drive. Yeah, the system's definitely it's not set up for you to win. No, you can win in the city, but outside of the city, the same laws, they just don't work. Right. And they have to consider that. So why can't they make the laws like a per capita basis? So if you live in an area where per capita or how many people live in that area, if I live in a town of 200 and the closest city away from me is a town of 900, that's a city. It's huge. It's a metropolis. And they only have 900 people. I have to drive two and a half hours away to get to a city of 10,000 or more. And you're going to apply New York City laws to me? Dude, come on. Yeah. Cruel and unusual punishment. Why doesn't a lawyer pick up that case? That's a class action lawsuit against the state of New York. Mm -hmm. Because you love New York City. You're making buku money off New York City. The Allegheny County. Yeah, well, it is. It's all about money, right? it's, It's crazy. Allegheny County has across the entire state per capita percentage of DUIs is the highest in Allegheny County. Per capita, it's crazy. Because we're all lose our jobs and you get another one. You don't know what to do. You're all drinking. The highest unemployment rate is Allegheny County. So the highest DUI, the highest unemployment, the highest taxes are all in one county. It's a county where there's no city that's more bigger than freaking 1,000 people. The wow. biggest city in the entire county is like this, the metropolis of a thousand people that live in a freaking twenty mile square. It's like if you studied it, if New York, somebody would take a look at this. If you compare that one county to like Queens or Kings or the Bronx or Brooklyn, dude, there there are millions of people in one county, the Bronx, compared to Allegheny County, millions of people living in one square mile. Compared to we have freaking thousand square miles with, you know, 40,000 people total. But we have the most DUIs, the most unemployment, and the highest freaking taxes out of all of New York State. They're punishing us. It's cruel and unusual punishment to how live close, in this county. How close? Is this the same county? <laughs> you ever get a moment of free and you think things are equal? The cards are stacked up for everyone in Allegheny County to fail. The cards are stacked up to make us all get DUIs and unemployed and sit in our – and then we start driving because I have to drive. Then I get pulled over again. Well, your driver's license was suspended. You have one DUI. Well, now you can't have a driver's license for five years. So it made it even worse. So now I'm unemployed with no license for five years, no buses, no Uber, no nothing. How do I get around? I got to hike 20 miles to get a roll of toilet paper? God. What do you expect from us? You're going to put us on welfare. You're going to put us on food stamps. You're going to make us into freaking thieving, drugging, drinking, DUI, unemployed. Because there's nothing for us to do. And we can't get out. You can't dig yourself out of that hole once you get so deep. Mm-hmm. No, totally. Allegheny County should be a study in New York State's ability to punish a whole population of people. That's what they did. Governor Cuomo, I love New York City, hates Allegheny County. He hates us. And we're the highest tax county in New York State. How far is that county from where you were raised? It's the same county. Same exact county. So you're, yeah, you said I you're 15 minutes? Raised. Yeah, 15. Well, if you drive really fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you drive normal speed limit, it's about so, 22 or 23 minutes. So another subject, same county. How how would you say that your upbringing and your childhood directed your the rest of your life? H- how much of your childhood had an effect on your decision to eventually join the Navy SEALs and do, was it 15 combat deployments or 14 combat deployments? It was, it was 13 deployments. Lucky 13. 13. Yeah, 13. I only did wow. 13. Only but did thirteen. You're saying that you're saying yeah. that's not a lot. No. Oh. I would. I would, I should have done more. I don't feel like I did enough. Really? Yeah. How many people do you know that have done that many combat deployments? A lot. 
Oh, okay. Three, four. Three or four? I don't know. But it's I don't know. I don't I mean I never try to count. Okay. It's not it's not a number that you count or like look at. But right. I still don't think I did enough. I'd still I still wish I could do some more. But I grew up I grew up in rural. It was very rural, very self sufficient. It, we had farm animals, so you always had to get water, feed, and take care of them. Always like doing crops or taking care of that, or throwing hay bales. In grade school, I was throwing hay bales. So you learn how to be like. Um, Seems like you were always very, rugged, very hands on. Rugged individualism. MacGyver. Very rugged. Hands on. Yeah. It was like MacGyver. You know, I, I'm MacGyver the shit out of it. So I was in. I was going to Lowe's. The other day. So I was going to Lowe's the other day and uh, they made this new rule for New York City that doesn't, it shouldn't apply to that, but it's New York statewide rule that Governor Cuomo came up with. At this date and time, everyone in public has to have a mask on. Because basically, if you live in New York City, you're living on top of another thousand people. If you walk into any 7 Eleven in New York City, there's going to be a hundred people in that store. Now, if you walk into 7 Eleven where I live, there's one person in there every 20 minutes. So your social distance in where I live is natural. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm walking into the Lowe's and there's somebody standing guard and I got a big signs in there that New York state law, everyone must have uh, one of those masks on in order right. to enter any store. It's a New York state wide law. Yeah, it makes sense in New York City. But out here in the entire Lowe's, there was only like four people. So it's not very hard to keep 20 feet away from every person in a freaking store.